Turkish military expert Professor Dr. Mesut Haki Kazan, who made statements about Turkey's first unmanned sea vehicle Marlin SDA, which entered the inventory of the naval forces, stated that Marlin SDAs have the potential to sink aircraft carriers. Marlin SDA armed unmanned sea vehicle, developed by a Selsun and Seafine shipyard in cooperation, was delivered to the Naval Forces Command. It managed to become the first unmanned sea vehicle to enter the inventory. Presidential Security and Foreign Policy Board member Professor Dr. Mesut Haki Kazan made striking statements at the delivery ceremony. Marlin SDA stands out with its electronic warfare capability. It has the feature of being the first and only unmanned surface vehicle in the world that has electronic warfare capability. It can electronically attack the systems of the enemy naval fleet. It can be used not only against surface targets, but also against underwater targets. Marlin SDA can hit the target from the exact point we want from the middle, either by hitting from the body or from the tail. It can immobilize the ship by hitting the back of the ship. It is equipped with equipment that can sink the ship if two of them attack a ship or four of them attack an aircraft carrier. Marlin, which has the title of the first unmanned surface vehicle representing Turkey in NATO, leaves its competitors behind with the superior technology capabilities developed by Aselsan. Marlin armed unmanned sea vehicle, which was developed locally and nationally in cooperation with the Selsun and Seafine shipyard under the coordination of the Presidency of Defense Industry, stands out with its features in the NATO exercise held in Portugal. Marlin SDA, which also has the title of the first unmanned surface vehicle in the world with electronic warfare capability, is planned to be used in defense and attack-oriented sea warfare operations in the coast or open sea. Thanks to its special hull design, Marlin can perform its tasks even in the most difficult sea conditions and can carry different useful loads such as guided missile, light torpedo, 12.7mm gun, electronic attack, electronic support, sonobuoy that expands the sonar range, towed array sonar systems in accordance with operational needs. Designed to meet the requirements of high speed, stability, and maneuverability, Marlin is equipped with a Selsun's remote-controlled weapon, electro-optical reconnaissance surveillance, radar, jamming-resistant GNSS, electronic attack, and national software systems. Marlin, which can perform tasks autonomously or remotely controlled, can perform surface warfare and submarine defense warfare tasks with guided missiles and light torpedoes. Marlin, which has a much wider operation range than its counterparts with its satellite communication capability, can move at approximately 36 knots. Marlin SDA, which can start its mission from ports, amphibious and logistic ships, can be made ready for operation in a short time. Unmanned sea vehicles are robotic systems that can perform tasks in underwater or surface environments without human intervention. The importance of DAs stems from the fact that they provide many benefits in both civil and military fields. We can list these benefits as follows. Exploration and research. DAs can be used to explore and research sea areas that are inaccessible or dangerous for humans. For example, DAs can examine sunken ships, lost planes, natural resources, marine life, water quality, the effects of climate change, and many more. Rescue and humanitarian aid. DAs can play a vital role in finding and rescuing survivors in sea accidents or disasters. In addition, DAs can carry humanitarian aid materials such as food, water, medicine, blankets to people who are stranded or endangered at sea. Aircraft carriers are the most powerful and versatile naval platforms in the world. They are the ultimate expression of sea power and force projection. They enable us to protect our interests and allies, deter our adversaries, and respond to any crisis or conflict anywhere in the world. But why are aircraft carriers so important? What makes them unique and indispensable? Let me give you 10 reasons. Aircraft carriers provide offensive capabilities. They can launch and recover aircraft from the sea, allowing them to conduct air strikes, reconnaissance, surveillance, and electronic warfare missions. They can carry a variety of weapons, such as guided missiles, bombs, torpedoes, and guns, to engage and destroy any target on land, sea, or air. Aircraft carriers provide defensive capabilities. They can defend themselves and their accompanying ships from air, surface, and submarine threats. They can deploy fighter jets, helicopters, and drones to intercept and counter enemy aircraft and missiles. They can also use electronic countermeasures, decoys, and anti-aircraft systems to jam and confuse enemy sensors and weapons. Aircraft carriers provide power projection. They can operate in any ocean, region, or climate without relying on foreign bases or permission. They can move quickly and skillfully to the most advantageous positions and strike at the most opportune moments. They can also show presence and demonstrate resolve, sending a clear message of strength and deterrence to potential aggressors. Aircraft carriers provide increased air support. They can provide air cover and close air support for ground forces, naval forces, and special operations forces. They can also provide air transport and logistics, delivering personnel, equipment, and supplies to remote and austere locations. They can also provide air rescue and medical evacuation, saving lives and reducing casualties. Aircraft 
carriers provide versatility. They can carry a variety of aircraft, such as fighters, bombers, attack helicopters, transport helicopters, early warning aircraft, electronic warfare aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles. They can also carry different types of payloads, such as sensors, cameras, radars, lasers, and communication systems. They can adapt to different missions, scenarios, and threats depending on the situation and the need. Aircraft carriers provide flexibility. They can operate independently or as part of a carrier strike group, a carrier air wing, or a joint task force. They can also cooperate and coordinate with other naval, air, and land forces as well as with allies and partners. They can switch from offensive to defensive, from conventional to unconventional, from kinetic to non-kinetic, from lethal to non-lethal, as the situation requires. Aircraft carriers provide endurance. They can operate for long periods of time without needing to refuel, resupply, or repair. They can also replenish and rearm their aircraft and ships at sea using underway replenishment and vertical replenishment techniques. They can sustain high-tempo and high-intensity operations without losing effectiveness or efficiency. Aircraft carriers provide survivability. They are designed and built to withstand and recover from damage using multiple layers of protection such as armor, compartmentalization, redundancy, and damage control. They can also evade and escape from danger using speed, maneuverability, and stealth. They can also fight back and retaliate using offensive and defensive weapons and systems. Aircraft carriers provide innovation. They are constantly being upgraded and modernized using the latest technologies and capabilities. They are also constantly being tested and evaluated using realistic and challenging exercises and simulations. They are also constantly being researched and developed using cutting-edge science and engineering. Aircraft carriers provide leadership. They are commanded and manned by highly trained and experienced professionals who have the skills, knowledge, and judgment to make sound decisions and execute complex missions. They are also supported and enabled by a network of experts and specialists who have the expertise, resources, and infrastructure to provide guidance and assistance. They are also respected and admired by allies and partners who have the trust, confidence, and cooperation to work together. These are the 10 reasons why aircraft carriers are important and why we need them to ensure our security and prosperity and to maintain peace and stability in the world. Aircraft carriers are the most formidable and versatile naval platforms in the world. They are the ultimate expression of sea power and force projection. They enable us to protect our interests and allies, deter our adversaries, and respond to any crisis or conflict anywhere in the world. But how hard are aircraft carriers to sink? What makes them so resilient and formidable? Let me give you five reasons. Aircraft carriers have multiple layers of protection. They are designed and built to withstand and recover from damage using armor, compartmentalization, redundancy, and damage control. They can also evade and escape from danger using speed, maneuverability, and stealth. They can also fight back and retaliate using offensive and defensive weapons and systems. Aircraft carriers have advanced sensors and communication systems. They can detect and track potential threats from long distances using radars, sonars, satellites, and drones. They can also communicate and coordinate with other naval, air, and land forces as well as with allies and partners. They can also use electronic warfare and countermeasures to jam and confuse enemy sensors and weapons. Aircraft carriers have powerful escorts and support. They can operate as part of a carrier strike group, a carrier air wing, or a joint task force. They can also cooperate and coordinate with other aircraft carriers, submarines, surface ships, and amphibious forces. They can also rely on logistics and maintenance ships to refuel, resupply, and repair. Aircraft carriers have diverse and capable aircraft. They can launch and recover aircraft from the sea, allowing them to conduct air strikes, reconnaissance, surveillance, and electronic warfare missions. They can carry a variety of aircraft, such as fighters, bombers, attack helicopters, transport helicopters, early warning aircraft, electronic warfare aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles. They can also carry different types of weapons, such as guided missiles, bombs, torpedoes, and guns, to engage and destroy any target on land, sea, or air. Aircraft carriers have highly trained and experienced personnel. They are commanded and manned by professionals who have the skills, knowledge, and judgment to make sound decisions and execute complex missions. They are also supported and enabled by a network of experts and specialists who have the expertise, resources, and infrastructure to provide guidance and assistance. They are also respected and admired by allies and partners who have the trust, confidence, and cooperation to work together.